How you doing guys? This is Michael Ortega. I am a composer, music producer. This channel is just basically a way for me to show you behind the scenes of what I do, how I do my music, pretty much the struggles that I go to. This is where the magic happens. Uh, I am not sponsored by Monster, so ignore that energy drink in the corner. This is a Williams Rhapsody 2. I picked up this piano a few years ago. Uh, again, everything, in, <laughs> everything is all beat up and, you know, it has a, uh, I don't know if you can tell, uh, pretty well but it has some pretty nasty scratches here and there and everything you know it's pretty dirty um but this is the piano that i'm gonna use for my video because obviously i can't grab the acoustic piano i did that once and i almost killed myself but that's another video for me to explain to you guys i'm going to actually pick up this piano and uh go outside in the woods i live uh right in front of some wooded area and uh, i have this idea for this melancholic piano song you know me sad piano music but whatever I am sweating. I just discovered that I was talking to the mic, but I wasn't recording. <laughs> So I lost the footage. So I'll, I'll probably just add it as a uh, as a voiceover. But anyway, I was just basically saying that you know I'm sweating. It's freaking hot over here. You know, it's almost 30 degrees Celsius. You know, almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit for my people in America. Obviously, this is you know, it is what it is, right? But I don't mind. The thing that I like the most is being creative and deciding that hey, I'm not just gonna post a picture. Yeah, the music is one thing, and I put my heart and soul in my music. But um, I've always loved videography and cinematography and, you know, photography and all that stuff. You know, I never pursued it, but I say, hey, why not kill two birds with one stone and learn how to do simple music videos? I need to cool down because this is too much. If I do get to record something today because I may not be able to, it's already about to be 4 p.m. here. And I only have about three hours of sunlight. And by the time I decide which angle I want, if I mess up and I have to start all over, it may be a little too dark and I may need to come back the next day and the next day might be sunny. And you know, if it's cloudy and I do half of the video when it's cloudy and then tomorrow is sunny, it ruins the shot. So that's why sometimes I take up to a week to do a video because sometimes either it's raining, either it's cloudy and I, I can only do maybe like a little bit for like an hour or half an, half an hour or maybe the video is really, really far away and I need to pick up my equipment, leave, come back, set up, which makes me waste an entire hour just to put everything back. Um, locally, for me, this video is going to be right close to my house. Um, in the woods in front of my house, so it's not so bad. Um, this is a great place that I come uh, for me to save, uh, you know, um, money because uh, I will have to spend 50 to $100, um, if, you know, just to get a permit from the city to be able to do a video on, uh, on a park or at a beach. And my videos, I'll be lucky if YouTube pays me 100 bucks. I make um, $1 for a 1,000 views. That's it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the videos because I have passion for it. I'm not doing it for the money. Sometimes I ask myself, why do I even do this? You know, I mean, I'm lucky that the mosquitoes are not killing me, but there are times in which I got mosquitoes killing me. I can't concentrate. I keep messing up in the videos. It's a nightmare. I actually bought a keyboard that has speakers on it because this one requires you to plug it into the wall. So every, every video you've ever seen of me where I have this piano, I basically play by memory where I remember the notes. I don't remember it 100%, but I do remember where the fingers are supposed to be. Oh uh, my goodness, I am so sorry that I have this weird tone. It's just I am really cooking right now. I'm just apologizing that I'm not too, hey, blah, 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 and exciting and, and, and you know, happy. 
Oh, there is a deer. Look at it right there. Right over there. See it? See it? It's moving. I'm not making it up. There are animals here. There's, there's a lot of wild animals here. Okay, so now it's time to set up the camera and see if maybe I can start getting some shots. come back tomorrow hopefully it's cloudy kind of like it is right now a little bit hazy so that way the scenes look the same I'm gonna have to wear the same shirt just so that it seems like it's all in the same day um, but you know I'll go back in the studio so that way I can edit this video a little bit I gotta work on the sheet music for this song because I'm not done with it just yet but anyway Okay, how you guys doing? This is the second day. Um, unfortunately, I have some bad news for me. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. It's difficult to tell. Okay, so I had to lower the settings so that way you guys can see. This is my backyard in my house. But it's sunny. And like I explained, it had to be cloudy in order for me to have the same scenes look the same. But I have an idea. I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer uh, so that way the sun doesn't show on the hill. It's gonna look kind of like it's cloudy a little bit something like that but anyway I have to actually change. I have to wear the same uh, shirt and the same pants, the same shoes just to give the illusion that it is the same day. The drone that I'm using is a DJI drone. It's a Mavic Mini. Um, I, I like the Mini because it's very small and it may not be the most professional drones out there but I mean considering that these drones are so expensive it does the job pretty good. I mean, I wasn't going to spend a thousand dollars. I mean, this drone was five hundred dollars with the accessories and everything. And that to me is a lot of money. But considering that my other drone is completely broken, which is another topic for another video, I can just show you later on. So, I mean, <laughs> if I had a little nicer body, I would probably be like, you know, taking it off and all that. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, guys and girls. <laughs> Now the mic doesn't work. Well, the audio is gonna be not as good, but it is what it is. I'm gonna have to put another battery. This thing has been acting up. And I also made the mistake, oh, you know, a little sun. I made the mistake of not charging my cell phone. So, you know, but it doesn't really matter because as you can see, you know, I wouldn't be able to let the drone fly too far while I'm playing because um, uh, it would probably crash. Uh, you know, these things are pretty helpful in preventing it from getting damaged. I'm just gonna see if I can get some my aerials without showing my fingers because I'm gonna have to pilot it with my, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to pilot it with my hands just to get a couple of nice shots. If the area was a little more open and there were no trees around, 
I will be able to put it on autopilot and let it fly on its own while I'm actually playing. But then I would need something else because I listen to the music through my cell phone. Uh, but I wouldn't be able to use my cell phone for that because my cell phone would be connected to the uh, controller. So I would need to bring like a laptop to then be able to listen to my music while my cell phone is connected to the controller. So it's a whole process. Right now I'm just trying to have a few different angles from far away that you can't really see my fingers just to have something else in the video. So I basically just hit the... Um, I put the backpack and my stuff behind this rock so that way when I move the drone around you can't see it. So it's telling me compass calibration required which just means that I have to make a few turns and uh, calibrate the compass of the, the drone. Okay, the calibration is done. I just need to wait for it to pick up a few more satellites. I'm not really sure. I don't have a lot of good signal. Hopefully I can fly this thing. It says over here, takeoff permitted. Yay! All right, I got a few shots. Okay, so I was trying to land it over here and then it just fell off. Yeah, oops. That is not a good sign. Look at that. Uh-oh. Stop moving. There you go. Perfect. So, I already saved the footage. Okay. Look at it. You see? This is the footage of the drone and I'm flying. It's getting stuck to the trees a little bit. As you can see, I'm moving along a little bit here and there, some cinematic shots. Some of them are getting close to my face a little too much. Things like that. Um, it's not perfect. I just make sure that I didn't show my fingers because I'm doing it by myself and I don't want you guys to see the, the controller. Again, if I was not on an area with trees, I would let the controller do the autopilot so that way the drone moves by itself and then I can start playing the piano without worrying and I can show my fingers. If I had somebody piloting the drone for me, then it would be perfect. But this is what you do when you have a drone and you're by yourself. It's going to be part of the illusion on the music video. It's okay. You know, this is only when I'm in a wooded area. If I'm in an open area, if you're in an open area, then you can go ahead and let the drone pilot on its own because now drones can do that, so pretty neat. There was, there was some dirt on the camera, so I have to blow some air to blow that dirt out. And I'm using this little bit of, uh, this little pen, you know, just to, uh, just to get the dirt out. Super clinkly. That's pretty much it for today. Um, I am not going to do anything else for the video. I could probably, you know, I don't know, get a few more shots of my face, get a few more shots of my fingers, get a few more shots of nature, but it's not necessary. It's a very short song. I have to grab all this stuff, bring it down the hill back to my house, edit the video for like four or five hours yeah that's how long it takes because i mean you know i gotta choose the right color i choose the right angles i chop it up in the right way um but i have so much more to show you guys you know about my equipment if you have any questions you know what i use what settings i use uh pretty much what my opinion is on uh your videos if you want me to check them out too just let me know you know write it down in the description if you've watched this far don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and uh, hit the notification because uh, this channel is about to be popping with a lot more new videos. Anyway, thank you.